there's a question on progressions came up in CAT 2017 and infinite geometric progression a1 to a3 has this property a n is three times a n plus one n plus two so on okay so this is a either uh, this is an al uh, this is a decreasing or a uh, this is a decreasing uh, geometric progression right because it's an infinite geometric progression and uh, what it says is that the first term is three times the rest of the terms three times the rest of the term right or any term is three times the rest of the terms which follow it that is what the progression says okay so let's see what we get out of this okay now it is given that the sum of the entire series is, series is 32 so this entire series is 32 now the first term is three terms three times the rest of the terms so the rest of the terms will be if I split 32 in the ratio 1 is to 3, this part will take one part, this will take three parts. 32 split in the ratio 1 is to 3 will be, this will be 24, this is the first term. And the rest of the terms add up to 8. Right? Okay, now if I apply the same process, right, the second term will be 3 times sum of the rest of the terms which follow it from third onwards and what is the sum of all these terms sum of all these terms is 8 so again split 8 in the ratio 3 is to 1 3 parts goes here 1 part goes here so the second term will be 3 by 4 of 8 right now you can find the common ratio if you want to you can find the common ratio if you want to common ratio would be 3 by 4 into 8 divided by 24 so that is one fourth. So each term is one fourth of the previous term, right? If you want to resolve this, this is six. Each term is one fourth of the previous term. We need to find a five. So a three will be one fourth of six, which is three by two. A four will be one fourth of this, which will be three by eight. A five will be one fourth of this, which is three by thirty option C is your correct choice right so that finishes our set